For students, freelancers, the unemployed, or anyone with a flexible schedule, becoming an extra in Lithuania's budding film industry can be an interesting experience which can allow you to earn a little extra spending money. It's typically not an activity that most people would think about doing, but its low skill requirements make it something that is accessible to anyone who has the time. So today, we're going to look at how foreigners in Lithuania can become film and TV extras, and we'll go over what to expect if and when you land your first gig. Oh, and in this video, I'll be blurring much of the footage since we aren't exactly in a public setting. So for those unfamiliar with the term, Wikipedia explains an acting extra as a background actor who is a performer in a film or TV show who appears in a non-speaking capacity, usually in the background. With Lithuania's growing TV and film industry, we will hopefully see demand for more and more local extras. With foreign films, with interesting and diverse storylines, foreigners, particularly those of non-Caucasian ethnicity, could be in high demand. That's probably why the Lithuanian company Actors Agency put out posts on various foreigners' Facebook groups looking for people of various ethnicities to sign up. I personally took the opportunity, and now having been in two different roles across four days of shooting, have a little bit of insight into the process and experience. I'm obviously not a veteran background actor, but I'm happy to share what I've experienced this far in my quote-unquote acting career, especially for those who are interested in signing up. So the first thing you'll need to do is get yourself registered. I believe there are a few agencies in Lithuania that source and provide background actors to TV and film productions, but I only know about Actors Agency. I replied to a post they put out on the Foreigners in Vilnius Facebook group and then arranged for an audition of sorts. If you're just looking to be a background actor, it's really just about showing up and having your photo and measurements taken. They'll also probably ask you a few questions about your hobbies and interests in case any special skills emerge that can be put to use in front of the camera. Once this is done, you are officially in the agency's database and then it becomes a waiting game. Actors Agency says it has more than 45,000 faces in its database. That means when a film production comes into town and needs extras, they can hire companies like Actors Agency to provide an army of background people. So if your description matches what the film or TV show is looking for, then you might just get a text message. If you're chosen, these messages generally don't provide much information about the role or the production, but they simply present the dates you're needed and perhaps the fact that some food or transportation will be provided. If you're interested, you'll be asked to respond to the text message with a specific set of keywords. Once you're confirmed, you'll hopefully get the necessary paperwork to fill out and sign by email. This was the case for my first role, but I'm still waiting on the documentation for the more recent part. The company explained that they were dealing with hundreds of extras and needed time to process everything. While it doesn't seem the most professional or reassuring, I'm going along with it for now. I'm pretty sure compensation varies between productions and roles, but I was offered 60 euros per 12 hour day with actual payment delayed by about 30 to 45 days. The productions that I've been involved with haven't yet finished and it's part of the contract to keep details confidential, so I can't really say anything about these. However, I can say that my first part was a gun carrying security slash military type of person and had a more active role infiltrating a building. The second role was much more boring and had me standing around pretending to fix a piece of equipment. So let's quickly go over the general process for a day of filming, at least for my own personal experience. Skip over to this part of the video for tips and advice for future background actors. First, you're going to show up at a building to be fitted for your costume or wardrobe. This might be on the morning of the filming or possibly a few days before. On the day of filming, you'll go to that same location and change into that outfit. At the moment, COVID tests are required beforehand, so that needs to be done right when you arrive. Depending on the production and the number of other extras, you could be waiting in line for a while, as everything gets set up for their part. But once this is done, you'll be directed towards your transportation to the set. The ride hopefully won't take too long, as you are then dropped off and sent to a waiting area. This holding area usually has snacks, or at least coffee, tea, and other drinks. In my limited experience, this is where you can leave some of your stuff, whether it's your backpack or other belongings. Be prepared to wait here a while as the crews get set up. In fact, get used to waiting and standing around in general. This is going to be the majority of your time as an extra. 
But once they're ready for you, they'll call you in and explain where you should be and what you should be doing. After standing around and waiting, and maybe practicing your actions a little, you'll probably go through a few run-through rehearsals, and after waiting and waiting some more, you'll do some real takes, where they actually use smoke machines or other special effects as part of the production. Talking to one extra who was in another scene, he told me that they had 60 takes of the same scene. With a role requiring them to applaud in the background, I was told that their hands were sore or tired or numb by the end of the 60 plus takes. Between rehearsing and filming, you'll be fed lunch, or I guess dinner or breakfast depending on the time. If you're filming outside, this will be a good chance to warm yourself up. At the end of the day, which could take 12 hours or more, you'll be driven back to the collection point. If that's where you got your costume, you'll be able to change into your own clothes there, before going home. So what do you need to bring and what can you expect? Well, if it wasn't already clear, expect to wait and sit around for long periods of time. This might be inside a warm building and relaxed holding area, or it might be on set outside in the cold. You might also expect to do nothing at all the full day. That's because productions sometimes ask for more extras than they might actually need, just in case people aren't available or they just want to have extra extras. With all of this in mind, I would personally recommend the following. A form of entertainment, whether it's a small book or a smartphone, but if it's tech, then definitely bring an external battery to recharge partway through the day. You might also consider bringing a charger, although there's no guarantee you'll have a safe place to leave your device while it charges. I would also recommend bringing a jacket with multiple closable pockets that are a decent size, especially for cold weather filming. This will allow you to stuff your phone and battery pack in there as well as your other belongings. If it's cold, you might consider a scarf or gloves, items that you can also store in your jacket pockets. If you know you're filming outside and there's a chance of rain, then make sure you bring a warm jacket and a small pocket size umbrella. These small things can make you a lot more comfortable while you stand around. You can also bring a bag with you to keep all of your stuff. However, there's less chance you'll be able to keep this with you, if that's something that matters. In fact, you might have to leave it in the holding area, far away from the set. Then you'll want to bring with you a sense of patience and professionalism because at the end of the day, you're being paid to do a job, even if that job is to stand around and wait for half the day. There's always enthusiasm and excitement on the first hours of the first day, but this fades quickly and you'll need to just tough it out the rest of the way. You definitely don't want to be that background actor that messes up their part and forces everyone to do an additional take. This wastes everyone's time and really, we can all be home a little sooner if all the shooting goes well. But even though it's hard work, there are some benefits. Of course, meals and refreshments are provided, and then, yeah, there's the pay too. But one less tangible benefit is meeting other people who signed up for the same thing as you. People with interesting backgrounds and histories who you'll have plenty of time to get to know. Of course, meeting people is up to you, and no one's going to be upset that you've chosen to sit in a corner and read a book between filming. That's totally fine too. But I think that's about it for things you need to know when becoming an extra. I realize much of this is general knowledge and not specific to Lithuania, but if you're a foreigner in the country looking for something different, it's something worth looking into. If you've done this work before, let me know if there's anything I missed, and if you haven't done this before, let us know if it's something you might try. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.